In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Let's join together in these words of confession. Our hearts feel heavy within us. We are weighed down with the loss of loved ones, the loss of opportunities, the shifting of hope and dreams. As many people eagerly wait to celebrate Jesus' birth, it's hard for us to lift up our hearts. Help us, embrace us, heal us. You who know the grief of the world, meet each of us in our aching hearts. God knows the emptiness we sometimes feel. God knows the feelings of abandonment, anger, loneliness, and relief we sometimes feel too. God knows us from the depths of our hearts, and God sits with each one of us as we learn to be whole people once more. Be assured of God's love and compassion. Amen. Our gathering hymn is Wait for the Lord. This is from the Taze community, and uh, it is a repetitive chant that is meant to be, uh, repeat, be uh, sung over and over again. There are verses that will be sung over the chant, but I invite you to receive this, um, this as, as prayer as we gather together. Uh, it is particularly fitting for this Advent season as we wait for the Lord.
Let us pray. God of light and life, in the midst of a busy season when so many around us are making plans for the birthday of Jesus, we come listening for your voice and hoping for your comforting grace. Draw near us as we draw near to you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So scripture encompasses all kinds of words. And we are going to hear now a couple of different places where scripture cries out with words of heartbreak. And in these words, may we find the expression for some of the things that we might be feeling. We begin with Psalm from Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? From the words of my groaning. Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer. By night, but find no rest. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. And a short reading from John. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, they replied. Jesus wept. In response to these words of heartbreak, we are going to move through this litany of remembrance. I invite you, if you're able through the, the tile of Zoom windows to look for the one that's marked candles. Uh, we will be lighting these candles one at a time. And I wonder if you would be uh, so, uh, so bold as to help. We'd like to do this dinner church style. And so um, if, you know, one, one slide at a time, as you are so moved, if you would like to offer these leader parts, you can in, read the introduction and then you can see in the Zoom window as the candle is lit, we'll pause for that and then continue on with the prayer petition and then we will all respond with the words in bold. So uh, dinner church style, the spirit will move uh, some among us uh, to, to move through this litany of remembrance as we light these six candles. We light this candle to remember those who are captive to darkness. For those lost in the night of addiction, depression, anxiety, unexpected grief, or broken relationship, we pray to God. Disperse, Disperse the, the gloomy, gloomy clouds, clouds so nice. of night. We remember this candle to remember those who have died and those who mourn the dead. The shadow of death can seem impenetrably dark during these long nights, yet the first act in creation was to call light from darkness. We pray to God, death's dark shadow, dark shadow. Put, put to, to fight. fight. We light this candle to remember those who are alone. We remember those who are isolated from loved ones, far from home. 
wandering down the wrong path or convinced that God is unconcerned with their suffering. We pray to God. Refresh, refresh the heart that long, long for you. We light this candle to remember those who are living with illness. We lift up those who suffer the pain and indignity and bewilderment that accompany a loss of health. For all those who desire to be returned to wholeness, we pray to God. Restore the, Restore broken. the broken. brokenness. Make us, Make us new. new. We light this candle to remember those who feel that hardship will overwhelm them. The poor, the unemployed, the persecuted, the hungry, and the homeless, we pray to God. Grace and beauty, beauty, beauty come and strength. Stay. We light this candle to remember those affected by violence and injustice. For those who keep others safe, for those who serve in the military, for first responders and frontline workers, for families who mourn the loss of loved ones to violent conflict. We pray to God. Teach us your, Teach us your, will. your will and guide, and guide our, our way. way. And we turn now once again to scripture to hear words of hope from the first chapter of John. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. And from the 21st chapter of Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, see the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. As a response to these um, readings and prayers, I offer a poem prayer from Jan Richardson. This is called The Cure for Sorrow. Because I do not know any medicine for grief, but to let ourselves grieve. Because I do not know any cure for sorrow, but to let ourselves sorrow. Because I do not know any remedy, but to, let, but to let the heart break, to let it fall open, then to let it fall open still more. Because I do not know how to mend the unmendable, unfixable, unhealable wound that keeps finding itself healed as we tend it, as we follow the line of it, 
as we let it lead us on the path it knows. Because I do not know any solace, but to give ourselves into the love that will never cease to find us, that will never loose its hold on us, that will never abandon us to the sorrow for which it holds the cure.
And I invite you to unmute and let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be, be your name. name. Your kingdom, your kingdom come, come, your will be done, be done. on earth as in heaven. Give us today, give us today our, our daily bread. bread. Forgive us, forgive us our sins, as we as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us, save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from the kingdom, the kingdom, our power, the glory of yours, now and forever. Amen. I invite you to unmute and speak the bold face type. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me. Christ, Christ in, me. in me, Christ, Christ beneath me, Christ, Christ, Christ above, me. above me. Christ on my right, Christ on my left. Christ, Christ where I lie. Right. Christ, Christ where, where I, I sit. Christ, Christ, Christ where, where I arise. Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me. Christ, Christ in the mouth, mouth, the mouth of everyone, everyone who speaks of me. of me. Christ in every eye that sees me. Christ, Christ in every, every ear, ear that hears me. me. Salvation is of the Lord. Salvation, Salvation is of the Lord. the Lord. Salvation is of Christ. Salvation. Salvation. Lord, whatever it is. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.